Greetings, in this video tutorial, we will show how you can create custom posts, and add them to your timeline via the Post Timeline plugin. Part 1 Create Custom Posts First of all, we will need to create a custom post topic, to do this we will head over to the CPT UI plugin, and select Add Slash Edit Post Type. On the Add Slash Edit Post Type page, we will need to fill in the post type slug, plural label fields, and singular label fields. In our case, we will add holiday underscore destinations. Holiday destinations and holiday destination respectively in these fields. Press on add post type to create the custom post topic. The custom post topic we created has now been added to our WordPress account. Now that we have a custom post topic created, we now need to create the tags and categories that will be assigned to each post in this topic. To create tags and categories, we'll need to go to the add slash edit taxonomy section in the CPT UI plugin. To be able to add custom tags, we will first go to the add slash edit taxonomies page. Here we will add holiday underscore tags, holiday tags, and holiday tag in the first three fields respectively. Then we'll scroll down and select the post where we want to attach the tags to, in our case holiday destination. Click on add taxonomy, and the taxonomy tags will be assigned. To the holiday destination topic, we can now go to the holiday tag section from holiday destinations and create tags for our posts. Let's add a few tags. We will add wildlife, beaches, and adventure tags for our custom posts. Simply type in the tag name and press the add new holiday tag. Next, we need to be able to add categories to our custom post topic. To be able to add custom categories, we will first go to the add slash edit taxonomies page. Here we will add holiday underscore categories, holiday categories, and holiday category in the first three fields, respectively. Then we'll scroll down and select the post where we want to attach the categories to, in our case holiday destinations. Click on add taxonomy, and the taxonomy categories will be assigned to the holiday destinations topic. We can now go to the holiday categories section from holiday destinations and create categories for our posts. Add a few categories based on which country the holiday destination post will feature. We will add England, Scotland, and Australia categories for our custom posts. Simply type in the category name and press the add new holiday category. Part two, create a custom post. Now we need to create a few custom posts using the holiday destinations topic and assign our newly created tags and categories to them. So we will go to holiday destinations and click on add new. Here we will add content for a post. Now we will assign a tag and a category to this post. Once we are done, we will publish this post. We will resume this video tutorial once we have created 6 to 7 additional posts. Welcome back. We have finished creating more posts for our timeline. Part 3. Create a timeline. Now we need to create a timeline with our custom posts. To go to pages and click on add new. On the new page, add a title. Then select the post timeline shortcode block. Click on add shortcode to configure the timeline. Firstly, we will choose custom post type from this field. Then we will select holiday underscore destinations from here. The selections in the select taxonomy and select category fields will determine which posts will be added to the timeline. For example, if we choose holiday underscore tags and select taxonomy, we will be able to filter our posts based on tags. 
The tags are filtered or chosen using the Select Category field. Leaving the Select Category field blank will cause all the posts to appear on the timeline. Whereas, selecting it tags will cause only posts which have the selected tags to appear on the timeline. Let's see an example, we will leave the Select Category field blank and create a timeline. As you can see, all our posts have been added to the timeline because we did not make any selections in the Select Category field. Now let's see what happens when we select a few tags in the Select Category field. Let's select the Adventure tag and load the timeline. Be sure to press the Insert Shortcode button once you have made any changes. As you can see, only the posts with the adventure tag have been included in the timeline. Similarly, we can filter posts based on the categories we created earlier. To do this we need to choose holiday underscore categories from the select taxonomy field. Now we can filter categories by selecting categories from the select category field. Once again, please note. Leaving the select category field blank will cause all the posts that have a category associated with them to appear on the timeline. Part 4 Date Based and Tag Based Tags From the Post UI tab, we can choose whether the tags that appear on the timeline are date based or tag based from the Select Tag Type field. Selecting date based will replace the tags with dates and it will also arrange the post in order of creation. As you can see, the tags have been replaced with years. Whereas selecting the tag based option will show the timeline with the default tag view. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.